What's up, gang? Next on deck, we have this uh, centipede monitor. Uh, it's got, I can't remember if it's horizontal or vertical, but let's see, that should be horizontal collapse. It looks like it's a joust monitor, and it probably originally was, but it definitely came out of our centipede. Uh, this one's super, super filthy. It looks like, uh, I, I guess, I don't think I've worked on this one. Oh, okay, I remember we swapped this one from just a spare monitor I'd laying around. So I've worked on this one before and it is, but it's definitely in collapse. So I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a cap issue, but it could be a solder issue. or it could be something else that's going out. I'm sorry, thought I was showing it to you. But yeah, you can see how filthy it is. We definitely want to clean that up. And you can see probably, let's get this light over here. Uh, let's see if you can see. Yeah, if you look right there in the middle, um, you can see some of the caps. Oop, some of the caps have marks. So I, I've capped it for sure, at least. And let's see. Uh... This is the third iteration of my um, mobile arcade test rig. And I know, Willow, I'm not talking to you, I'm filming. I'm doing a terrible job filming this, but uh, this is the bottom of the case. I put this piece of wood in here to uh, give me a little extra material to bite into. And then now I'm putting these inserts in. This one actually goes through the wood and into the plastic a little bit. And I have this one same as well into the plastic on the side and the bottom. But I'm just mounting all the those uh, four or five main components here on this side. And then I'll be able to at least, shh, I'll at least be able to uh, power up a monitor with an isolation transformer. So normally I would just hook this up to my test rig and we would fire it up, put the TPG on it and find out what's wrong with it. There's one problem with that. And I have taken my test rig completely apart for what turns out to be this video right here. I just wanted to rebuild it. Um, it's kind of always been a work in progress. I always kind of add to it and anything that I think is going to help me out. And I work on it in my spare time. It's just to, you know, kind of work on something, but not anything that has to be done or has any time limit. But I started filming this video already. This is actually my old one. Um, and as you can hear, the cat has been all over me to play with her on the stairs. She's finally found something that she likes to do. So I had to kind of cut that down a little bit. And uh, so I'll let you see that and then we'll come back and I'll show you where we're currently at. One of the major things that kind of held me back on this job was how to mount everything to the case without drilling holes through it or you know, putting 40 holes through it, which I ended up having to do that by accident. Um, and the best way to go about mounting like a monitor or something in there was to, to use some of these uh, press fit, what are they called? I'm gonna forget now. Uh, okay, press fit threaded inserts. These are press fit ones here. They're actually tapered on one end and then you stick it in, you, you wanna drill the hole, this one should tell you, I think it's a, yeah, it's one quarter. So you wanna, you wanna drill the hole just slightly smaller than the size of the insert, and then it's, it's got uh, gaps on the side, so whenever you screw your, your screw into there, it kinda of pushes it out and holds against it. And then the other kind that I got were these here, and these are uh, heat pressed, so, I had to get this tip for my soldering iron and then you screw on whichever size insert piece that you want. Then you put it on there or you screw this onto your tip and then you put the little gold in or brass insert thing on top of this and then you hold it against where you're going and it melts inside the plastic and you pull it away and let it cool and it's good to go. And those are like great for uh, 3D printed stuff if you guys ever do that. So once I figured out, and this was kind of recently, I, I guess I didn't really put a whole lot of thought of, or I just didn't really think about how to mount anything in there. Um, I, I want to show this stuff too. So I also got, uh, 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 
These are M5 screws and nuts, different sizes, and these are M3. So I also, the big ones over there, the wooden press fit ones, those are M5, and these little guys right here are M3, just for comparison in size. So you can kind of see, these are about the size of a pencil eraser. And then I got these standoffs here, all different sizes, so that I can put stuff at different heights and still have it anchored to the board in the case. And this is one I got, I just got this huge sack of them in, uh, oh, it was in a, a bulk buy of parts, which I still gotta show you guys, all kinds of crazy good stuff out of that. But once I figured out how to mount this stuff that I wanted to put in there a little bit better, then I was like, okay, let, let's do a, a better video, or not even, a, I didn't, haven't even done a video yet, but better than I had planned. Uh, have I'll be able to mount everything. Um, I also bought some uh, uh, struts for the lid so that I can put a heavier monitor in there because my monitor is super small. Let me get it here. It's seven inches. I mean, it's it's nifty and you know it's got all the different inputs. Kind of fun for you know playing video games, but it's uh, pretty small for what we're trying to do in this aspect. Okay, I just want to say that uh, the wiring is all crazy colors and I wanted it all to be uniform, like all five volts were all going to be the same wire, same red, everything, but I don't have my wire. I didn't have my wire here and so I just had to use scraps so it's all crazy colors, but I'm going to come back and rewire this like tomorrow or the next day whenever I get a chance. So, oh, this isn't really supposed to be here. I was just checking. I wanted to make sure there was room for it in case I needed it. So I, I want to start and I want to show uh, Bob Roberts has a little kind of like a power brick or something diagram. Um, and that's originally what I used whenever I built my first one and even my second one. And even several of my test benches, I, I used this diagram I'm showing you here. Um, now this one here, I didn't have to use it. I've, I've done this so many times. Um, I, I, I don't know 100% for sure if this is gonna come on and fire up and not blow the fuse and everything yet, but um, I did not use the diagram for this. So if you see something that's different or it's wrong and it's gonna blow a fuse, I screwed up. But we'll find out here in just a second. Now uh, let me get this aimed on here properly okay so our cord is going to come in and plug in here and this as well has been uh it has the inserts and the the plastic the heat pressed okay so this is going to be some wiring for four buttons it's just the grounds this is our three grounds and this will be the fourth and i'm going to have a panel here with switches because I want everything in here to have a switch and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to angle it down because I don't want it to hit the top of the the door that's coming down I also got to make sure everything's kind of recessed in here as well as recessed in the lid slightly because I don't want anything to smack together but the way it works just ignore these switches for now power is gonna come in here and it's gonna go through the fuse here and come to the uh, the uh, filter here and i think bob shows this too where the fuse is first here and then i think his switch is after but my switch is before but uh it's gonna hit this filter and then we're gonna hit our uh, power coming in is gonna go low the ground's gonna come here then we're gonna connect it to this little bolt that's down here come around and go out to that side there now the top here, the top part is where the isolated power is gonna come from. And that comes back here and out the back side for that. So after this goes around to the back, uh, we also have, uh, I, I ran this isolated power as well over here to the power supply. So we have our uh, line and neutral and field ground. And then these are the grounds here that I run. I just knew that I was gonna have to run four and I needed this because I wanna power on the uh, 
monitor separate than I do the whole box. Because a lot of times I'll be working on, you know, a board or something, but I don't need the monitor on. Before, everything had to be on. I didn't have anything on a switch. This way, I can still work on the board and and use, you know, my voltage uh, or my, uh, oh, I can't even think of what it's called. I'm so tired. I can use whatever I want on it, and then, but I can turn the monitor on and off while I'm working on something else because I don't need it on in particular. And the same thing's gonna be the, for the rest of it. I'm gonna have one for the LCD monitor, one for the test pattern generator. And so I know I'm gonna have at least four switches there. So that's where this is kind of, oh, and we also have isolated power coming to the, my little uh, outlet that's here. So I can also, you know, say like a Sanyo monitor has a little plug where you can plug it into a wall, but you don't want to. I could still use my test rig to plug it in in that situation too, just because I ran it from the isolated side. But as you can see, it's just all different colors. And I just used what scraps were already like soldered on there and tried to solder to it a little bit. It's a, a little bit of a mess, but that's how that's going to work. And that allows me to, like I said, turn the power on and off. First, I can turn it all on and off here. That gives me power to everything. Powers up everything in here and this. The only thing it doesn't power up is the out for the um, monitor. Or for the, yeah, for the CRT. So this is the, the first stage. Now I can pull out the TPG. We can hook this up here. So we can get some power, run to it, hook it up somehow, <laughs> which I, and I have several of these adapters that go to, to the back of this, wherever we end up setting it. I, I put it in the back so that we can put it straight towards it. You'll see how I, I usually set it up and it's pretty handy this way. Uh, the TPG I have is out of its casing. So um, I was going to mount it in this box. So we'll just set it aside, but still use it. Well, let me give me one second here to set this up and we'll see what the issue is with this monitor and it's possible that we can fix it it might just be uh something's loose or something like that but give me one second sorry i have to film with the air conditioner on for a little bit because it is getting warm in here without it um i realized we need to test this before we plug it to a monitor and just make sure that i did wire everything okay uh i would like to think that i did and i don't didn't have any problems or seemed to think that anything was awry. So I just want to check it first. Let me see if I can make sure we got this on here. Hmm. Let's see, I need to be zoomed in first of all. What about right here? Pretty good. Okay, so we want it on AC. that's off that's off I don't really know which way is off on those switches I just put the O is off and that is on let's see get a good look at this I want to be able to check this little power supply too let's see if we turn the light on all right there we go all right, so we're plugged in, so let's go ahead and see. Okay, what's it say? It says 14 volts. Let's try it with this. 124.6. You guys see that? Okay, turn it off. This is just the monitor. And you can see our power supply is still on, so let's let's go ahead and check it to uh, let's see how are we going to get this where you can see it oh, there. okay that's good and let's see i don't know if we we're on the right thing or not let me start us over okay so let's check the five volts Five point oh seven at a work and twelve. This little guy over here doesn't have negative five. Eleven point six five. I sacrificed it just to save a little bit of room. So everything worked first try. That's pretty amazing, actually. 
So all we have to do is just run, let me back out a little bit, from my connector here, run the power to the monitor and then hook the TPG up and should be able to see if it works or not. Well, I know it'll work with collapse, but I, I bet they just moved the game or something and, and, and I can probably just fix it. Could be sold cold solder though too. Bad news, my TPG cables are at the mall. <laughs> And I already went through all the trouble of, I got the power wired up to it. I have a power switch taken off of here, wired over there remotely. Have power hooked up to the monitor. Everything except for video signal. I guess technically I could, I could fire it up without a video signal and find out if, it, if uh, I can get it out of collapse or not. But we'll save that part for another video. We did get the main objective of this video done and that was to get the uh, my uh, test rig up and running at least for uh, CRT testing because I needed it immediately for the centipede monitor <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, what's today Saturday uh, tomorrow we're gonna go live I'm gonna shoot for like noon one o'clock something like that um, and we'll either fix this monitor live depending if it's working or not and I should know by then or we will work on either Batman or Lethal Weapon. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And, uh, Pretty good deal on it too. I get what I want. <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.